Hi, Indy. I'm Olivier Nairasha, and I'm going to talk about how to install Java JDK in your computer. Uh, so, uh, to begin with, uh, I will be uh, to begin with here. We are going to any web browser that your computer might be have might be having. So, I am going to Google Chrome. You can either use any other web browser you might be having on your computer. So I'm going to click uh, Google Chrome and then I will write uh, java.sun.com. So after I'm here, uh, now here you can see that there is some top down loads. So I will come here and I will click Java Standard Edition. And here we see that there is Oracle JDK. So I will try to click here on Oracle JDK download Oracle JDK and uh, as you can see I will uh, here I have to accept there is a, a Java SE development kit so there is a, a difference according to your operating system if you are using Linux uh, Mac operating system but in my case I'm using Windows. So uh, there is two types of Windows. Uh, you can either download bin uh, .exe or you can download bin.zip. So uh, zip that means you will download this on the computer and then you will, you will try to unzip and then uh, try to uh, run the install file later. But now we can also use the install file right away bin.exe. So that's what uh, I gonna click. I've already installed in my computer, so uh, I don't have to go through this process uh, with you. But that's uh, what you have to do. Uh, let me see if what I can do, if it can overwrite what I already have on my computer. So probably we can go together. Uh, it's gonna, after it finishes the process, then uh, you see we have this one installer here and then we it's going to open and it's really start uh, the process of installing so after yeah you see now yeah yeah that's it uh, it's gonna start the process of installing but I don't have it to repeat the same process as I did so that's why now soon when uh, when the installer comes, you see it says it's telling me this software has already been installed on your computer. Would you like to reinstall it? No, I don't want to restore it. It's already installed. So, but after you have finished the installation process, then uh, you what you will do, you will come here to uh, you see this kind of folder here uh, on the status, status bar. Uh, you will come and click here, and you will come here and C drive and you come here in program files and you will see Java and you'll see JDK and you'll see bin. So this is this will tell you that your core your Java has been installed successfully. But here the question are we really ready to start using this Java? Probably not. We need to do something in the computer for the uh, Java to know, for the computer to know that the Java is here. So uh, just I will clear the window here. Uh, yeah, uh, we need to to know that if for the computer to know that the compiler is here, we're gonna run a command here. Uh, how did I get this window? Uh, if you go here uh, on your computer search bar and they try to type cmd and press enter. So there we see that we have uh, the command prompt window. Or uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, this in this command prompt window. So I'm gonna try to uh, try to ask the computer if it knows that we have the compiler already installed in this computer. So here I write a command called Java C. So if and then press enter. You see, Java C is not recognized as an internal. Or external command. That means even if we have installed the if we, even if we have installed the Java, the computer still does not recognize that we have Java installed in our computer. So 
how are we going to tell the computer that the compiler is already here, that Java has been installed in this computer? So here we're going to register the path of the installation of the uh, of our uh, of Java. So that's what we're going to do now. Uh, if we, I we come back again to this further here, uh, uh, and then. Uh, let's we start, we start from the very beginning. I come to this folder. I click it, and then I will come here to my computer. This computer is in Norwegian, so you probably have your computer in any other language, but it doesn't matter. So it's only the language. Otherwise, the place, the location of the file is here in the same place. So I will come to the C drive, and then in the C drive, I will come to program files and in the program files I will see a folder called Java and then I have JDK with the version, the latest version. I'll click on it and I will click in bin. While I'm in the bin, I can I need to copy this file, this path. I can either click here, this folder here, and then do a highlight what is here, right click and copy, or I can try to right click and file that I can find here. Let me just, I just choose random file, right click on it, and I'll choose properties. It's the last thing on the, don't care about the word about this writing here. This is just the Norwegian way of properties. In Norwegian it's called Eigenskape, but in English it will be properties. Probably you have a computer which is in another language, in Arabic or in French or in something else, but the location will still be the same. So, or it's the last one which is called Eigenskape, and there I can still highlight, highlight this path here. Just highlight the path here. Now I will do right click and copy. So where are we going to paste this path? Yeah, I can just, uh, I can minimize this window. Uh, there are two ways I can do that. I can click again on this folder here and here on the, here there's this called this PC, this PC in English. Uh, I have an, again, original computer and my computer is called then person. So in this PC, I right click on it and I will go again to properties. And in the properties, I will, I will see where it's written advanced system settings on my computer. It's something else, but yeah, that's why you go to click in English. And I will come here to media variable. So uh, here, or oh, another way I can come here, I can use, uh, come here and try to type something control panel, control panel, or probably in your computer, you can use C control panel, but my computer is in Norwegian. So I just write control panel. It's the name, it's called control panel in Norwegian. In English, it's called control panel as well. It's only written differently. So I click here on control panel and then system and security. And when I'm system security, here there is system. Yeah, in system, I have advanced advanced system settings and advanced system setting, I have media variable. So then when I'm here in media variable, now I can register that path that I have uh, that I had uh, before. So I would click new uh, on your computer to be new or nouveau or something else in your language. I click new and then here up I will put the word path and down I will put the word the path of that uh, path that we copied. So I will click OK and I will again click OK. So now we have told the computer where the compiler is. We have told the computer that 
you know, hey, the compiler is here, the translator is here. So don't worry. So now we're going to find out if the computer knows now if the compiler is here. Yeah, now if we can go here on the CMD again and try to press enter. So we're going to write that command that we tried to write before, which was Java C. Yeah, now we can see that it's coming up with a lot of commands, a lot of information that is telling us that really the computer now recognizes that there is a compiler, there is an, uh, there is uh, Java is already installed. So uh, now we are going to test to write some different codes just to finalize this tutorial. So just uh, to write the codes, uh, I'm going to try to test if we can write some codes. Yeah, uh, okay, now we're going to write our first, uh, our first program now, or our first coding. So now we can try to type not pad, not pad, or just, yeah, uh, not pad, it comes something else, but uh, uh, I use this one for me, not pad. Yeah, uh, you can use just any text editor you're having as, as of now, it doesn't matter, but I just want to do something very simple. So uh, we're just going to write like a public, public class, public class, uh, we call it test. And then uh, every time we write a class, we need to start with the, cal uh, we, we like to type this one. Probably we'll find out this, it's called calibrasis and then open and closing calibrasis. And then here we're going to do again something else. Uh, public static void main that public static void main and here we're going to really put something inside and then here string also arcs yeah this one and this one yeah and then here we're going as well to open and close this i will find out how it's called so in english yeah but this is what i want you to write you guys yeah if you are with me so then we are going to write the first ever code to test that things are working we will be using something else when uh, uh, when we are coding this is just kind of testing that our code is working so uh, i will write system dot out dot print ln and then i will press right uh, i will try to write the word hello world hello world that is what every new program when everybody is starting to program they always write hello world but so that i can i can write something else you are most welcome you are most welcome to my to my java tutorials yeah yeah and then we are going to save it i'll save it in a folder i will try to save it in c i try to save it in a c and then in folder called olivier i try to call it the same we have to use the same name as the class name i try to call it tests.java yeah and then yeah test.java yeah and then i press a uh, save yeah now we have our test.java and then now we are going to do the magic so what we are going to do now we are coming back we are going to open again our command prompt let me close this one so our command prompt cmd now i'm going to go where i where i save that file i go back a little bit here i go back yeah now 
it was in a folder called Olivier CD Olivier. Now and then there was a, it was called tests. So first I'm going to compile. Compiling that means uh, compiling that means it's kind of translating with the language that we can understand that you can write and the language that the computer can understand it's a little bit too different so in the between there should be a translator or in other ways that translator is called a compiler so now i'm going to to compile that's what we wrote java c it's called uh, olivia uh, olivia and that's what it's called it was tests dot java yeah, now our program is compiled successfully. Now it's time to run. So we are going to run it Java tests. Yeah, you are most welcome to my Java tutorial. Yoohoo! Now we made it. Now that means our first uh, our first program we have that is running now so next time we are going to use other advanced text editors we are not going to use command uh, prompt you know to write a program but you guys i hope you have enjoyed this tutorial so please don't sub, don't forget to subscribe on my channel so you can keep getting more videos coming to you thank you all for watching thank you